สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ <laughs> Chiang Mai in Thailand. Yes, we're now in the north of Thailand since yesterday morning. We arrived super super early, <laughs> like it was not even five o'clock, but we knew that. Uh, we actually took a night bus from Bangkok, and it was a really fancy one, right? Well, initially we wanted to take the train, actually, that most tourists take, yeah. I guess, uh, which would have gone for over twelve hours. It is, I think. Uh, It's also a night night train mm. where you can sleep, uh, but yeah, it was already was already full, fully booked, so we uh, took a bus, and indeed we had a VIP bus from Samba Travel, and those seats were amazing. Like it was really one one seat per row. It were like these um, little capsules almost that you sit in like a little nook. Yeah, super comfy. It, it felt like business class on an mm. airplane, kind of. So you had everything you needed. You got some snacks, some water on there. And halfway through, after like three, four hours, um, they even made a stop at a canteen to get something to eat. Yeah. So it was actually, we actually were, quite a nice experience. It was experience. a super nice experience. We, we, even I could sleep this time around. Usually, yeah. I, I can't sleep at all. Moritz um, can never. He's <clears throat> always on watch or something, and yeah, I don't he know. can't. I can't. I can't. Fall I can never. Can fully relax. <laughs> but this time, it, it worked out well. So. Mm. And it's not even that expensive. We actually got it advised by somebody uh, through Instagram. Yay, Instagram! Uh, and uh, what was it? I think 28 a person. Yeah, 55 in total. <laughs> we paid for the two tickets, which is super okay. I have to say for for that distance that we did, mm. and we were driving from from seven till five, so 10 hours. Most famous bus place, I guess, is more cheap uh, in Bangkok, so that's where we took off. Yeah, indeed. And there to get there, we paid around about 300 baht actually. Yeah, was, uh, with a grab. We yeah, took we, a we grab. took a grab because yeah. of our luggage, we weren't <laughs> sure also to make the time, so we were making sure to be there. Yeah, so that's that. Of course, we were way too early, we couldn't check in in our beautiful oh, yeah. place. Uh, it's called The Crew here in. Uh, in Chiang Mai, super beautiful. Lovely place. Yeah, rooms are really spacious, really clean, clear. Yeah, what else can you say about it? It has everything you it need. Looks, it looks Some very, it looks very modern. They, they, they give you water as much mm. as you want. We have breakfast there, so it's, it's a very, very clean and well kept hotel actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has a little pool as well, and a lot of cats around. We like it. <laughs> So yeah, that was for yesterday actually, uh, but we were yeah beat, uh, we were that tired, uh, but then we decided to go for breakfast as we couldn't check in anyways in town. It was still so early, it was 8 o'clock and all the breakfast places were already getting super filled. Everybody was already awake, it was a Saturday, yeah. but uh, later on we knew why, because all of a sudden we stumbled upon this whole flower parade that's still from the flower festival. We had no idea. <laughs> no, we just we just stumbled upon it. Yeah. But but all the good uh, seats were already taken and all the cafes which were mm. uh, close to it, so that made sense. Yeah, that's why everybody wanted a seat with a yeah. view. We were thinking, why on hell? And then we heard about the parade, which was super beautiful to see. So.
ในสมัยของพระเจ้าอสุมหาราชหลังพุทธปรินิพานแล้ว200กว่าปีท่านมักน้อยสันโดษจึงเนรมิตบุตรสบกแก้วขึ้นในสะดือทะเลลงไปจำพรรษาบอกฟ้าห้อยน้ำดังมนขังเมืองแกนเท่าแดนเท่าบัวต่อรถบุพชาติขบวนนี้เป็นของอำเภอแม่แตงร่วมกับองค์กรปกครองส่วนท้องถิ่นประเภทสวยงามชื่อขบวน That was that and then we rested a little bit the rest of the day because yeah we were tired and then in the late afternoon we headed out and we went to a night market <coughs> Uh, which wasn't far away from where we actually stay, and it was quite long, I have to say. Like we could be walking for quite a while. Yeah, it was the Wuolai Night Market, I think it was called, and yeah, super busy. And it's a street full, just from one side to another, from town, uh, one stall after another. You can find anything there. It was clothes, street food. Um, So it kept us busy. Yeah, well, we decided to have a foot massage there for half an hour, which was extremely relaxing. Yeah. Uh, you were suggesting it, and I went with it. It was okay. <laughs> it was, was feeling good. Yeah, it was super nice. I think we deserved it after the, the, the travel we had. So now we're the second day here in Chiang Mai, and this morning we had a wonderful breakfast at our stay. After which we headed out for the old town of uh, Chiang Mai to just go exploring a bit. We saw a few temples. So first we went to check out the Wat j e t Lin. It's called. It's not that known. I actually haven't seen it much on on blog post. I saw somebody mentioning it on Instagram, and it looked. Super idyllic, so I really wanted to check it out. Um, when you first arrive, it doesn't look that impressive, but you should go to the back, and it's so beautiful. It's so serene because you have like this little pond with many fish that you can feed. Which kind of fish was it? Um, it was catfishes, like yeah. lots and lots of catfishes. Mm. Um, And indeed, you can buy for I think for 10 baht it was you can buy some fish food. So everybody actually gets a bag there and throws it in, and they look super well fed and quite a bunch of them in the pond. <laughs> so like really overflowing with fishes there. I and think they're overfed. They looked super <laughs> fat. <laughs> uh, but I have to say also the temple that it looked very much um, authentic actually, and like it, it looked like mm. the monks really lived there. Like in the back, you could tell. And it really had this more authentic vibe to it. So there was like no ticket counter. Um, it, it, it didn't look overly commercialized. It wasn't like kept ultra clean or anything like that. It looked just just uh, yeah. authentic and, and quite cute. And indeed, I guess it's not that known. So there weren't that many people. Yeah. And when you go further towards the end, you can actually go over this little man-made bridge over the pond, which was made from bamboo uh, straps or something. It's so funny to walk on. Yeah. Uh, I can't describe Bec it because it's giving in a little bit, so you feel yeah. like you're sinking in a, a bit in the in the bridge, but it still works. So. Yeah, and then on the side you have all these like little colorful, a little bit like flags kind. Then yeah, it was just a wonderful experience. Uh, I really liked that one personally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then we moved on in the heat because it was getting hot already to the next one uh, the Wat Shedi Luang it's called it's one of the oldest ones actually in Chiang Mai and uh, the grounds hold uh, three temples um, uh, all a bit in different styles the first one uh, Moritz will tell you about because I have no idea how it looked like Oh, yeah, apparently they have one which you're not allowed to enter as a woman yeah. um, and you have to dress modestly if you get a, go inside but that's actually typical for every single mm. temple that you go to. Um, anyways, it looked beautiful from inside and there were, <laughs> there were also a few locals and monks who were praying there mm. um, to, to the Buddha statue mm. and like on the surrounding walls you could see some stories being painted like you often have in, in, in those Buddhist temples. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've never seen that before indeed it was like marked really big multiple times women not allowed so uh, I was standing there with some other women and looking like okay what do we do now well, it, it was funny it was funny because everyone was like standing there and they were like talking to each other and like oh yeah like surprised by it yeah. indeed and uh, then further up I oh, then you had this impressive one made out of red brick kind of it's something i've personally only kind of seen before in, in myanmar but it was really cool right the way it looked yeah yeah i enjoyed the one as well
forgot to uh, for mention the last one. Uh, it was the Wat Pra Sing, uh, the golden one. So, but yeah, we actually yeah. zhoofed through it. Eh? We didn't stay that long, actually. Well, it was also quite nice to, to yeah. walk through, but <coughs> indeed, we, it was quite fast as well. Yeah, <coughs> I, I did like the surroundings. I, I love it when they make it a little bit like cozy with seedings and it had a little bit of a, a jungle vibe with a bit of bamboo. Like a well-kept garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. indeed. And, but it was really beautiful. moment hotness so yeah we made our way back to the the main street from there and uh, had some lunch at the good kitchen it's called it was very nice yeah, mine. And the curry was super good there yeah. yeah you had the panang curry yeah. and i had my first uh, cow soy which is a typical uh, traditional dish from here from the north yeah you so find it everywhere here in the, in the corner we have uh, also a place mm. so it's all over the place where you can order it here. Yeah, so you should really try it. I personally really liked it. It's a little bit of a curry soup with noodles and then these uh, crispy things on top. And it comes also with chicken. Um, yeah, it was super nice. I will definitely have it again. Now we're actually heading off to relax a bit and then we might see a fight tonight. Yeah, or a couple yeah. of fights because we're thinking about going to Muay Thai boxing Indeed. event. I'm not sure about it yet because I've heard uh, bad and good things about it. Supposedly mm. oftentimes they're faked, like a little bit like WWE style. Staged, um, yeah. yeah. Everything choreographed mm. or like the chaos choreographed. So we're thinking of going there that we have, yeah, that we make not. our own impression of it. Mm. Because, yeah, we're curious. That's for sure. Yeah, w wasn't it said that this particular one is also a bit more a local um, stadium? Well, all of them have have quite some bad reviews, honestly. So we're not sure. Yeah. But we want to give it a shot. It's also not that expensive with 600 baht. Yeah. For so. a, for a few fights, that's okay. And it's for three hours, eh? Indeed. So it's a full on evening. Uh, before that, we might head out for uh, the Sunday night market uh, at right. the. Uh, Pi Gate, I believe it is. Uh, so even though we're not sure yeah. we're gonna, how long we're gonna stay, because we already yeah. had ours yesterday, so we'll see. So yeah, see you later. <laughs>